icing on them so you can do a little icing for you there. Welcome back to your channel. It's your girl, Triple L with Deb. And it's so wonderful, guys, to see you back with us again. Triple L family. I got something great for you today. It's going to be sticky, sticky. We've got, yes, if you already know, we got sticky buns. And what are we going to do with them? We're going to do them in the microwave. Oh, let's do it. All right, guys, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got here... I've got some custard cups, okay? These are six ounces, okay? You can get them in eight ounces, uh, they, of course, a little bit larger. So I like these, this is perfect for um, the um, sticky buns. I've got a um, one tablespoon of butter each. You see, I have six here. I've got brown, um, dark brown sugar, okay? And you see, I already got circles where I scooped out six. I want one for each one of my fillings, and I have nuts. I've got pecans, pecans, whichever you want, and I've got walnuts, and both they are chopped, okay? And I have a little bit of cinnamon for dusting, all right? My water, and here I have pancake mix, okay? And this is complete pancake mix, guys, where you just add water, okay? So this is all the ingredients here. Of course, if you want to do more, just increase your ingredients. Now my pancake bomb mix here, I always just make enough, guys, okay? To feel like three quarters of the way of my cup here so that the bun can rise and be a little bit taller and anything left over, mmm, Trey and I love to make our pancakes the next morning with. Hey, Trey. Hey. What, so what are you doing? Taking my pancakes. You're cooking a pancake. Uh-huh. And I got flip it over. Flip it over. Woo! Ooh. Very good, That's baby. Good job, Trey. <laughs> good job, baby. Cut it. Cut it. And flip it over. Flip it over again. All right. Yeah, you like that, guys? So remember, oh yeah, it was a little messy, but remember guys, easy cleanup for very fun memories. And guys, if you're in your dorm room, try to make sure you got a place or area where you can actually work and clean up too, okay? All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so once it comes out, we wanna just swerve the butter along the sides as well, okay? Just swerve them all along the side, guys. Okay, and then sometimes I just use a little brush and go around them. So you can use that if they are a little warm. And some butter sometimes may be a little bit more than other. Okay, and it's perfectly fine, okay? It makes sure we get the inside around in there. Gets the butter in there too, because once we put our brown sugar and our nuts in, mm, hopefully it'll be dripping down the side as well, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put like a tablespoon. If you want more sweetness, guys, but don't overload it, you can use more. If you want less, please put less. The same thing with your nuts. If you want more, please add more or add less. It may be a little messy, but it's to your desire, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put sugar in each one. I'm just brushing my nuts, guys, so it can be like evenly and not like sitting right in the center part. Okay. All right, and let's not forget, we have to dust it a little bit with some cinnamon. It would probably be easier if I just pick it up and sprinkle it. And I may put some on, right on top of the um, Pancake mixture as well. Okay, now we've got this done. All we need to do is just pour in our batter. All right, guys, so I didn't really measure. Remember, I like the rest for our pancake mix. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. We want to stir until it's nice and smooth. 
Okay. I'm gonna stir a little bit this in and I'm gonna see if I need any more water, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need more water. Yep, I'm gonna need some more water. So we've got our stirring finished up here with our mixture and it is nice and smooth okay and probably about maybe three or four cups something like that three or four cups i think now can you use this with cake mix if you want to make little small layers of cake just like we made the upside down pineapple cake you probably can go ahead and do that too now i've just made like little, little cake cups and frosting them before so i don't see why not now, could you use the biscuit dough? Hmm, never tried it. Go ahead, let me know, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get our batter pulled on, guys, on top. All right, so we're using like the half cup scooper. And we're gonna pull that in there. Put it directly in the center first, guys. And it's not like at the very top of the line, but it's almost there. All right, guys, so now we've got them filled. I'm just gonna give it a little cinnamon dust on the outside. I like the smell of it when it starts to rise. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give it a little cinnamon sprinkle. Not much. Okay. Okay, and remember, it's time to put them in now. All right, guys, there we have it. And remember, it should spring back. See that nice little spring to it? So we're gonna just gonna invert them on our little honey plate here. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna leave them upside down, let them cool for about two, three minutes, okay? okay? So they have cooled a little bit, so we're just gonna turn them over, invert them here, okay? Okay, we've got the other two that we're gonna place here and here, and then we're gonna be ready. If you want a little icing on them, we can do a little icing for you there. Yeah. All right. Some icing on them. Or if you didn't want that, you can also dust it. Mm-hmm. Dust it with a little, yeah, a little sprinkle of powdered sugar on them. All right. Make it your own, guys. Yeah. There you have it. Mmm, what a fantastic treat, guys, from the microwave. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the love we have to share with you today. And remember, share love with everyone, guys, because God gives us love just so we can love everyone else. All right, guys, so it's the love we share, the life God gives for everyday life.